Gone are the days of inhaling exhaust when you rip up the trails on your dirt bike. As electric dirt bikes, also called e-dirt bikes, grow in popularity, more companies are starting to produce them. Aimed at thrill-seeking teens and adults, electric dirt bikes offer the power and speed of an off-road motorcycle, minus the emissions. Adventurous riders still get all the fun of a regular motocross bike while enjoying an eco-friendlier alternative. These bikes run on pure electricity, so you can charge them up and start hitting the trails. An added bonus is that there is less maintenance on electric dirt bikes, as mechanical tasks such as oil changes, air filter cleanings, and engine rebuilds aren't necessary. There are a lot of factors that go into finding the best fat tire electric dirt bike for your outdoor adventures. Deceptive marketing claims, a huge number of models, and preposterous prices combine to make electric bike shopping a daunting task. To help you out, we put together this list of the best electric dirt bikes on the market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and hours of research. So, if you're ready to take part in the future of instantaneous power, be sure to take your time checking out our shortlist of the best electric dirt bikes. The FX, like Zero's dirt bikes, is scary quick off the line. Its stats are unlike anything you see from an internal combustion engine. This bike, geared toward the adventure segment, which is loosely defined as semi-off-road focused, is exceedingly well sorted and a joy on most terrain. In terms of horsepower, the FX is like a healthy 450 cubic centimeters dual sport. Get too bold with the throttle, and it's like doing a clutch drop from 10,000 RPM, which is something to bear in mind when you venture off pavement. You can light up the rear tire on the road, so whiskey throttle on the dirt is going to be like drinking from a fire hose. Fortunately, the FX has an eco mode, which dulls the violent throttle response. On the road, it helps you recapture more energy anytime you slow down, so as with electric cars, you get more range in stop and go traffic than at steady state cruising. The FX is exceptionally fun. It's light enough to be game-changing for anyone who wants an adventure bike that isn't intractably porky at slow speeds, and it's a rocket when you want or need instant acceleration. Introducing the new Kuberg Ranger. A unique crossbreed of a high-performance dirt bike and a functional city scooter. It's as fun as it is functional and as powerful as it is practical. Hit the dirt and the track. There's no compromise on the Ranger's versatility and no limit to its fun. The Ranger features go anywhere mode Exclusive to Kuberg, it's a combination of power, torque, lightness, and silence that you just won't find in another bike. It's a one-of-a-kind bike with a one-of-a-kind construction. The Ranger doesn't just play hard, it also works hard. From commuting to heavy lifting, it's a workhorse, suitable for all your needs, whatever your skill level. Being leaders in the off-road market, KTM had to act and lead the way with electric power. The KTM Freeride line is kind of in a class of its own, big enough for adults but downsized just enough to be a perfect play bike. The technology is nothing new to motocross or enduro but the other bikes available are sparrow limb budget stuff that's either built in China by blind lepers. Acclaimed 22 bhp and 42 newton meters of torque from the brushless permanent magnet, the electric motor equates to a 125 cubic centimeters fossil fuel burning dirt bike. Being electric, every single ounce of grunt is available on tap straight away. The 21 inch and 18 inch wheels make it look like a full size bike, but once you climb aboard, you notice it's just slightly downsized, maybe by about 10%. At 238 pounds, it's not as light as it looks, but keep in mind you don't have the mass of a crankshaft and flywheel spinning between your legs. Riding this bike is certainly fun. The weight is not felt like you would expect. 
If you didn't know the number, you'd guess much lower after a ride. Overall, I would say for its designed purpose, the KTM Freeride EXC hits the target right in the bullseye. While an MSRP of $8,299 might seem a little higher than some other motorcycles in the playbike category, it's also almost half the cost of other electric-type dirt bikes. With dirt bikes, as with cars, there's a strong temptation to translate electric stats to an internal combustion frame of reference, something we already understand. Cake, the company behind the Calc OR, knows this, and so the Calc's energy regeneration settings are set up to mimic traditional dirt bikes. The Calc's electric motor makes 15 horsepower, which sounds pretty modest. But the bike only weighs 152 pounds, and that little motor also makes 32 pound foot of torque at 0 RPM. Out in the woods, the bike feels a lot punchier than 15 horsepower would suggest, with point and shoot acceleration that can easily break loose the trail saver's rear tire. The cake is geared for power rather than top speed, with an enormous 80 tooth rear sprocket that results in 207 pound foot of torque on the wheel. If you can afford it, the Calc is unlike anything else on the trail. Every component is carefully considered and super high quality, from the suspension to the gorgeous aluminum frame. Hi everyone, I am Christophe Bruant and I've been an official rider for Electric Motion from the beginning of the brand. I helped with the initial development of the bike and during this time we run a lot of tests in shows and in trial as well. I've been riding a lot in trial this year with the new model, the race version, that is the competition model. What's great about it is that you can ride it like a classic trial bike because this race version is equipped with a mechanical clutch, a diaphragm clutch. With this feature you can now adjust the power, rev the bike, stop and approach an obstacle with a lot of power. It's really 100% like riding a classic child bike. The bike is also equipped with a very lightweight frame, so really easy to ride, and in addition to this, the new battery pack has nearly double the range of the previous versions. So the bike really has all high quality parts and components. The motor is a bit different to the previous version too. There are three different maps, different curves that we use in child section. So whether it's dry or it's wet, outdoors and indoors, we have a very versatile bike, and that's what I like so much. I can't wait to have a ride now, so let's go.